the new Splatoon 3 trailer was hype. Did you know that it's been over 15 days since we got the most recent Splatoon 3 news? I know. <laughs> what? But you know who was missing from the trailer? Pearl and Marina. Where are they? What are they doing? Let's explore some of the options of what they're definitely not doing for laughs. Maybe Marina became an art student after coming to the surface. During the events of Octo Expansion, she's only into traditional art, and her laptop's trackpad is really, really not good. She's too busy studying at Museum de Alfonsino to be able to go on adventures. Pearl is a solo force for the majority of Splatoon 3 story, until near the very end, Marina swoops in proudly with her new double bachelor's degree in both art and art history, because she wanted to learn more about Inkling Society while she was at it. Yay, welcome back, Marina. Maybe Marina and Pearl are too busy riding the Metro. Yup, that's it. I mean, think about how many different locations there are in Octo Expansion. That train goes all over the place. Marina and Pearl decided to go back to the Deep Sea Metro, but want to look at every single location before they come back to the surface. Due to the poor signal down there, Kelly and Marie have no idea how long they'll be gone. And maybe they're busy setting up for Octo Expansion Part 2. You never know. <laughs> Marina and Pearl are just too popular to show up in the single player adventure. If they were there, your character would just be too distracted. In fact, this would make a terrible mechanic in Splatoon 3's hero mode campaign. Every single time that Marina or Pearl show up in the background of the level, your camera will always try to pan over to them, desperate to have Marina or Pearl in the shot. You have to turn your camera away from them to be able to effectively complete the level. Good luck. The weather in the Splatlands is, like, really hot, right? <laughs> think about the kind of clothes that Marina likes to wear casually. Then think about the type of clothes that Pearl likes to wear casually. Big, bulky sweaters. Why in God's name would Pearl even want to go there? Marina asked her multiple times. She even offered to hold Pearl up to the air conditioners as often as possible. You know, the ones on the apartments that we'll definitely be getting, but Pearl kept saying no. Although, you know, they do have texting capabilities. We saw that in Octo Expansion, so maybe they'll be able to talk in their own way. <laughs> Come on, Pearl and Marina were there the whole time. Because of how advanced Octoling technology is, Marina was able to create the first invisibility suit. She made one for herself and then one for Pearl and they're actually standing around next to Callie and Marie in the Hero Mode trailer. We just can't see them. When we get the game for real, the next scene will be Marina and Pearl deactivating their tech, letting the player know that yes, Off the Hook is here too. Your player is very confused, but then they just go along with it. And you should too. Remember that one Splatfest art where we see Marina gaming hardcore for the Smash Heroes vs. Villains Splatfest? Well, Marina finally had a breakthrough in teaching Pearl, and now they spend most of their free time playing doubles battles online in Super Smash. <laughs> Marina plays top tier characters, while Pearl only plays heavies to waste her foes time. It's great. They're not number one online yet, but obviously there's no time for adventure when you're busy gaming. There's a brand new craze in Inkopolis, and Pearl and Marina aren't above trying it out. They got auto bomb races. Marina, being a great engineer, decided to improve the competition by creating a new business in Inkopolis Square where she could make customized auto bombs with different stats. They're uh, illegal for turf war though to make the competition more fun. However, she was a little, uh, <laughs> a little too good at her craft, and Cause was once a fun, casual craze to become a major weekly event in the square. Now she's too busy to do more than make auto bombs, do performances, and hang out in the studio with Pearl, where she at least has the safety of the glass wall to keep Inklings and Octolings from talking to her for a little while. I'm thinking Marina might be just a little too tired to come on out to the Splatlands. After the events of the Star vs. Mushroom Splatfest, Pearl and Marina decided to take a break from Splatfests for a while. But only a while. In fact, 
The return of Splatfest has only made Inkopolis Square more popular than ever, forcing the duo to stay behind and just do more Splatfests instead of moving to the Splatlands. Maybe they'll show up later in the story, when the citizens of Inkopolis realize that all the Splatfests are repeats. How many times in a row can you do Trick vs. Treat? Admittedly, I could do that one over and over again, but the average citizen might not. Well, what do you think? I think Pearl and Marina are too busy to come to the phone right now, and they'll actually tell us what they're really up to when Splatoon 3 comes out. Hopefully, they aren't actually held off until Splatoon 3's inevitable DLC release, because I would like to see their characters continue to be developed. Do you have your own hilariously unrealistic solutions for Pearl and Marina not being in the base game? Share away in the comments below! I find these fake theories to be real fun! See you later, and thank you for watching!